court documents say that Zachary Roberge was the person driving the vehicle that was involved in the collision. He faces possible charges, including vehicular assault. According to court documents, the collision occurred at around 3.55 p.m. Sunday afternoon. A Washington State Patrol trooper responded to reports of a two-car collision at the intersection of 153rd Avenue and Lake Lawrence Road. After making contact, court documents state Zachary Roberge told troopers that he stopped suddenly while making a left turn. That stop caused Sheriff Sanders' vehicle to crash into the trailer Roberge was towing. Soon after, an officer from the Seattle Police Department arrived to assist in the investigation. It noticed that Roberge showed signs of potential impairment. Court documents say Roberge eventually admitted to using methamphetamine and marijuana the night before. Please rise. In court, the prosecuting attorney recommended bail to be set at $25,000. But Roberge's lawyer argued that was too high. No past record or current record of any threats of use of dangerous weapons or firearms. Um, there's no evidence, Your Honor, that he's ever committed any offense while on pretrial release, probation, or parole. He has no evidence that he could not follow court orders, Your Honor. Ultimately, the judge decided that Roberge admitted use of methamphetamine the night before justifies the high bail. I'm not confident in a court order prohibiting um, Mr. Roberge from not consuming um, controlled substances that aren't prescribed. I'm not confident that a court order uh, is more powerful than uh, the lure of methamphetamine and what we know about methamphetamine. Now, Sheriff Sanders was airlifted to Harborview Medical for his injuries, but I was told by the sheriff's office today that he's currently at home recovering. From the Thurston County Courthouse, Lionel Donovan, King 5 News.